sometimes in the mornings. I go to the gym, go for a run. Something new for me, I'm liking it. Going for a 5K. I'll take this as a win. Longest run so far, I'm not sure how long. Don't have a whip or anything. But uh, these guys making coffee at the back. Want coffee? Thanks, boys. It's those little things. <laughs> Roadside coffees with the boys from Saigon doing a van road trip around Vietnam. What more could you ask for? Come on, man, come on. Come on, man. Yeah, get in. It's nice, right? If I knew how to put it on. Got it. So yeah, I went jewelry shopping two times because I got pretty bad anxiety my first time. This is all very new to me. Uh, I've never worn jewelry before. Um, but the bigger story around this is my fear and anxiety uh, that I had growing up as a tall kid like popped back into my life as I went to buy this jewelry by myself. It happened, 39. Felt like I was 17 again. Um, tall and awkward. And feeling like everyone was judging me for making the wrong choices. I've talked to a few tall guys, actually I've talked to quite a few tall guys, and uh, I've got quite a few comments and DMs throughout the years when I've shared my story of feeling awkward, um, feeling like I felt like people are judging me when they probably weren't, um, and it all stemming around my height, uh, stemming around standing out, and my fear that everyone thought my life was better than it really is. I think that's really what it boils down to. Thinking that other people are like, oh, you're tall, you're athletic, you're an alpha male, your life is so good, you must have this much money in your bank account, you must be this good of a businessman, you must have these many women, you must have, must have, must bat, life must be sweet being you, because you're tall. Uh, and it's, it's tiring, it's stressful. 
Uh, and it weighs down on you. It weighed down on me so much as a teen and into my 20s and honestly into my late 30s. Uh, only recently in the light half of my 30s have I been able to get a better handle on it, but obviously not fully because it kicked back again. And I, I just wanna kind of talk about this because it's real. It's something that is out there. And you as a tall guy having this thing, it's like, yeah, you're not alone. Like it happens. Um, and I think it will always keep happening. Like, I thought I've kicked it, but obviously I haven't. Uh, but I've done a lot of things to make it less stressful. Um, and that second time, they didn't weigh me down as much when I was in the moment, when I was in the town of Hoi An, asking gold and silver dealers how much things cost and trying them on and seeing how they fit on me. Um, while these Vietnamese were staring up at me and they're like, first of all, the first lady was like, you can't afford it. <laughs> when I was asking about 14 karat gold, little did I know that I actually couldn't afford it. Uh, I was very naive in that area. That's why I went with the silver, much cheaper. Um, but second of all, I just like everyone tourists around you, like putting things on and like, even though that is the ecosystem of that city and town that I was in, where it's pure jewelry, pure clothing, beer bag manufacturers, everyone's doing the exact same thing. They're just, I don't, I'm not staring at them because they're normal. Well, most likely they're staring at me, or at least I think they are. And it was hard. <laughs> it was tough. A couple things that I've done to fight this, negate this, get comfortable with this, um, and have it happen less. And when it does happen, it's not as daunting as it was in the past. First thing is therapy. Therapy has been a huge help, uh, allowing me to speak, just like this kind of, uh, to a therapist and bounce ideas off and go through things and try out new ideas. Uh, therapy was the first thing, for sure. Um, second of all is push my comfort level, push my comfort bubbles um, by going to do things like this, shopping by myself on something that I've never shopped before, um, going traveling, flying into new places by myself, places I've never been, uh, which scares the heck out of me still whenever I fly into a new place, it does. But it, I, I learned so much from it. Um, anything, anything, comfort level is great in your bubble and finding that and like sitting in it is really good until a point, until it gets to like, you can't do anything else because you're too afraid to get out of that comfort zone. And I think definitely me as a tall guy, I think a lot of other ones like you, it is, we like our comfort because it makes us not feel so awkward. It makes us not have to deal with crowds and standing out in lines while waiting at restaurants and having people come up to you. Um, my, my safe place in my 20s was my apartment. I was in my 20s, like living downtown Vancouver in a place where partying and like hooking up and all this, everyone was living their life and I, 80% of the time was in my apartment because I didn't have to face those people staring at me uh, and face all those things, which affected me so much. <laughs> and it's still innately inside me a little bit. Things do happen and they still definitely happening to me. And they're probably gonna still happen to you. But there are ways to make them feel less. And there are ways to like just, you know, face them head on. And you know it's gonna happen, so you know what? I'm just gonna keep going for it. Keep pushing, keep pushing that comfort bubble. Until they're just like, it's, you know, it just happens and that's it, that's just life. Now into these pieces of jewelry. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a jewelry guy. Uh, simplicity is my comfort level. Uh, I think simplicity is my comfort level because I've been too afraid to stand out in the past, being tall. Um, also, simplicity is because there's been not a lot of opportunity to stand out with clothing and try on new things, which could make me stand out and feel good in them. Like wear a nice suit because I can't find a suit. Wear something fashionable because I can't find it because there's nothing made for me. So like, why am I gonna buy jewelry if I don't feel good in the clothes I'm wearing? I'm starting to feel good in the clothes I wear. I like them, I like what's happening. I love these pants that I now have on. Like, it's just, it's just different. It's given me a bit of feel, style, individualism. So I thought I'm gonna go and get some jewelry to kind of take myself to that next level. 
So keeping with the simplicity angle, as I kept everything small, thin. Um, some might say feminine. Some guy on Instagram definitely just said that. You know, I'm cool with that. If that's what it is, uh, I feel comfortable with it. Um, chunky for me, gaudy, standout-ish was not something I was looking for. Uh, it just didn't feel right. Now, I know that since these are the first pieces that I bought, they're most likely not gonna be my most long lasting and something that I really fall into. As I wear these, change up my style, find new pieces and be like, oh, that's more what I want. That is it, that's more. I'm gonna learn the area, learn jewelry a bit, learning how to wear it and things evolve. Things always evolve. So I'm lucky I was able to pick these up at a decent price. This is sterling silver. I got these three pieces together for around 180 Canadian all in. I do think that's a better deal. I'm out here in Vietnam. Um, I don't think I got scammed, maybe I did. But I can handle that, even if I did for these three pieces for 180 total for all three of them, so like 60 bucks a pop. Um, it's investment, it's a tester. It is getting my foot in the door. And I think that's huge, that is something that I wish I could convey to a lot of you um, through this channel and through everything I do is like, you just gotta get your foot in the door sometimes. Yeah, you know what, you might lose some money, but it's an investment in time because it gets you started. So start small, throw some small bit of change, some cash into something, something you can handle yourself and make an investment into like, okay, this is my starting position in jewelry or watches or cologne or a new clothing style. Um, you need to invest in yourself. Like you need to invest in like your gym, uh, invest in a therapy because it's gonna make you better long-term. You're not seeing results right away. I promise you that on therapy. You're not seeing results right away, but in time you will. So these are my three investment pieces. Um, and I'm gonna see what they're like. I think they'll go really well with the clothes I have. Um, I'm really excited to wear those clothes and these pieces in Italy coming up. Um, and you'll be seeing more of them. And I hope to add some more pieces to it. I think I will keep my neck kind of bare minimum like this. I do think one thing I'm gonna do is add a couple pieces of this to make it a bit more chunkier but in individual pieces to add on layer. I don't want one chunky piece. I think I want three to make a match. Um, that's just a thought in my head. I'll see what happens when I come there and make it. Who knows, right? You don't know until you try.